everyone. Today we are going to be continuing our slope journey by talking about slope in the real world. So over the last couple of days, you have been looking at slope on a graph, slope with two points, and slope using um, parallel lines. So today what we're going to do is we are going to talk about how do you see or how do you use slope in the real world. So the first thing that we're going to look at is a problem. And this problem says that the table shows the distance y in miles of a space probe from a comet x minutes after it begins to approach. So x is minutes, y is miles. The points in the table are on a line. And we want to find and tell what the slope means. So the table here shows us that we have x and y values. So these x and y values represent, the x represents minutes, and the y represents miles. So this table shows us that after one minute, the comet has gone eight miles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these values and we're going to find the slope of the line um, and then explain what the slope of the line means about this comet. So I'm gonna go back to my other um, paper so that we can actually like do this on paper without clicking through the mouse. Okay, so um, let's write out our table. So we have x values and the x values told us that these were minutes. So the minutes versus some y values, which were the miles. All right, so in our table, we had one and eight, and then we had four and six. Our next set of values were seven and four, and then last but not least, we had 10 and two. So this table of values here is going to help us to determine about um, this comet and the way that it travels. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to create ordered pairs. So we're going to take our x value and our y value and we are just going to make some ordered pairs. So our first dot is at the ordered pair of 1 8. So our x value is 1, our y value is 8. We have an ordered pair of 1, 8. Our second dot that we have here, the second one is at 4, 6. So point number 2 is at 4, comma, 6. Our third our third dot that we have, dot number three. Dot number three is located at seven, four. And last, but definitely not least, we have point number four, and point number four is located at 10, two. So our x value is 10, our y value is two. So again, ordered pairs, when we create those, we use the x value first and then the y value. Okay, now we're going to apply all of our learning from the last couple lessons on slope using these pairs to find the slope. If we remember when we were looking at how to solve for slope using ordered pairs, we used point two and point one and we used their values in the x and the y. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take the y value of number two, and we are going to subtract that from the y value of number one, just like this. Now we're gonna take 
the x value of number 2, and we're going to subtract that from the y value, I'm sorry, the x value of number 2. When we subtract, we have 6 and we subtract 8, which gives us a negative 2. And we have 4 minus 1, which is 3. Okay, so remember that these on the top, these were our y values. And on the bottom here, remember, these are the x values. So this slope right here, this slope says that um, this is the miles, and this one here, the x value is the minutes. So this is miles per minute now. So as you read this, it tells us that it's negative. Well, negative means decrease or goes down. So when we're looking back at this question, the table shows the distance in miles of a space probe from a comet. We want to know what, um, what the distance is. So our job now is to use this slope to talk about miles and minutes. So this means that the comet decreases two miles every three minutes. So the comet decreases two miles every three minutes. So what we've done is we've taken the ability to make ordered pairs. We've then found the slope, so we find slope. And then over here, we talk about what does this mean in the real world. So in the real world, we've answered the question, the comet decreases every three minutes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna do a try it. So I'm gonna come back here and your job is to use this table. So, oh, oh, just kidding. Let's go back here, get the picture. Nope, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna move this table out of the way so it's not behind my head. Okay. And the table shows the distance in miles from your school minutes after you leave. So the points in the table lie on a plane again, or lie on the graph, and our job is to determine the distance between you and the school every mile, okay? So we're gonna, again, use the points in the graph, find the slope, um, using minutes and miles, and, um, and then we're going to interpret what the slope is. Okay, so hit pause, and now I'm going to find the slope while you find it too. All right, so my try it first thing to do was, so this is our try it, and the try it has the table of x, and we know that x was minutes, y was miles again, right? Yep, distance in miles. We had one minute for one mile, and then we had six minutes in four miles, 11 for seven, and 16 for 10. Okay, so we only need to worry about two points to find the slope. So we are gonna use two points and we are gonna find the slope. We are gonna look at point number one, which is one, one. So point one is one comma one. And then point two, and point two is six, four. So six, four. Now I've created my ordered pairs, which I needed to do first, create the ordered pairs. 
Now I'm going to find my slope. So I need my y values from both of these. So my y values, I have four minus this y value of 0.1, which is one, and that gives me three. Now I'm looking at the x values. So I have six minus one, and that gives me five. Okay, so my slope is three over five. So that means that the distance between, oh, you can't see that. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Okay, so that means that the slope between you and school is three over five, but what does this mean? So the Y was miles and the X was minutes. So this tells us that the distance um, between you and your school increases because it's positive three miles every five minutes. So that means you are getting three miles closer to your school every five minutes. So um, the distance, oh wait, increases. So you're getting farther away from your school. Increases three miles every five minutes. So again, you're just looking at, is it a positive or a negative? Positive or negative, so increase or decrease. How far is your distance? Miles and minutes, miles and minutes. And then you just use those words to talk about what's happening. All right, how did you do on finding the slope? How did you do on creating ordered pairs? And how did you do on reading what the slope means? So go ahead and answer your essential question down below. How do we identify slope in the real world? So what do we do to find slope in the real world? And then rate your level of understanding out to the side. Head on over to the Google Meet and ask for help if you need it, or you may go on Big Ideas and do your practice work. As always, I appreciate all of your hard work and effort today and make it a great day.